This video will show you how to use the frequency function on OpenOffice.org Calc spreadsheet to uh, come up with a histogram. Uh, I have some data here and first thing I need to do is list what the bins are for the histogram. Uh, I notice that the lowest number on my list is 102.4. I'm going to have my lowest bin a little bit more than that. Uh, so I'm going to type in 103 for that lowest bin and I'm going to have them spaced two units apart so I'll have 105 for the next uh, then I'll use drag copy to fill out the rest uh, calc just like Excel will figure out the pattern that I've uh, begun here uh, so I have a bin for all of the various values my highest value is 109.9 .9. that's going to fit into this bin labeled 111 so I have my bins. Now to figure out the frequencies, I'm going to use the frequency function. Remember, this function works differently from most uh, Excel functions. I'm going to type in equals, then the function name, frequency, open parenthesis. Now I have to select the data that is going to come into the frequency table. With calc, I use a semicolon, where uh, Excel would ordinarily use a comma, so type semicolon. And now I list what calc calls classes, but are usually called bins uh, when coming up with a diagram. Uh, close parenthesis. And now I will hold down Control and Shift and press the Enter button. If you're on a Mac, you'll be holding down the Command button while holding down Shift when you hit the Return button. And now I have uh, my frequencies. To come up with a histogram, I will select the bins and the frequencies and select the bar graph icon, the bar graph, the bar chart icon, uh, and I have a chart. Now, um, that's not the correct histogram, but I'm still going to go ahead and collect, click Finish uh, so we can see where we are so far. At this point, I have bars for the bin numbers as well as for the frequencies. I want to get rid of the bars for the bin numbers, so I'm going to click once on one of the bars I want to get rid of. And then I'm going to right click. If you're on a Mac, that's hold down the control key while you click. Uh, and I'm going to select uh, data ranges. I actually could have done this earlier from the, the prior list uh, before I click finish, but it's fine to do now. I'm going to click the data series bins and select remove because I do not want those bars there. If I click OK, you see where I am so far. Things are looking pretty good. Uh, I have my frequencies, bars for the frequencies, but if you notice the bins list the numbers 103 to 111 and those aren't showing up on my horizontal axis. Uh, so what I can do again is right click again on any of the bars that I found, select data ranges again, and what I need to do now is to select to make an entry for categories. So um, what I'm going to do is click the entry button uh, where I can select the categories. Uh, you can see it says select range for categories. I'm now going to select the numbers 103 through 111. It has that selected. I click OK and now the numbers 103 through 111 are set up there. Uh, this is basically uh, what I need to get the histogram. For fine tuning I also want to make sure that I have no uh, gap width. So again I'm going to right click on the bars. I am going to uh, format the data series. Among the things that it has is spacing. I'm going to scroll this down to 0%. You can also type in the number 0 for a 0% uh, immediately. So I've got 0%, OK, and I've got a graph with no bars. Uh, it's also handy to, uh, I'm going to format the data series again, to have uh, borders between those bars. So I'm going to select borders. Uh, instead of invisible, let's make it continuous and black. And now I've separated my bars. There's my histogram.